chance to pick up the points at the line. First That's on Brooke Lopez. Well, Davis gets to the line a lot, and people don't talk about it. But he's an excellent foul shooter, about 80% most season. Now, here's Ande de Kumbo. It's Ande de Kumbo on the wing. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Chris Middleton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. And this is what Middleton does. Hit trades. He's one of the best in the league at helping his team space the floor. Now here's LeBron. Lopez with the block. And we have seen Lopez really improve his shot block. Adept at using that length to alter shots. Second team. On defense, the Bucks. LeBron outside. Five to shoot. No luck, they battle on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Pass to Davis. Back to James. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Powerful move by LeBron inside, not letting anything stop him from getting his shot. And here's Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Outside Portis. Allen for the three. And another three for Milwaukee. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from D. Stolen by Allen. And Middleton with a clear path to the hoop. Oh, great finish by Middleton. That trade where the Bucks got him for Brandon Jennings. What a steal that was, right? Oh, he blocked it to the flex off the backboard. Milwaukee leading by eight. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside? Going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. The Bucs shooting their first free throws of the game. Free throw good. Giannis. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Milwaukee making a switch. And he can't hit the second. James in the post. And it's slammed in by Davis. And that's the thing. That's why he's going to be top five all time in assists. LeBron James just drops dimes. Milwaukee shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That's good from Lopez. Brooke Lopez hits them both. And the key for Lopez is playing strong. When he does this, he makes an impact on both ends. And so it's Milwaukee in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. A look at the field goal. For 18. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. And James picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. 
Middleton outside. Pass to Portis. It's stolen by Davis. Stealing a ball in the NBA, it takes more than quickness. It takes smarts. Run it. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> He's got a point, David. Let me thank you for your report. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Connaughton with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Portis. Portis on the follow. Portis has got the lead up to 10 now for the Bucks. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Bucks. Pass to Davis. It's so about it's a Kumbo. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always critical, it can take you out of your game. Make sure you just start to think a little too much on the floor. And this Lakers squad has a ton of talent, but some guys are well past their prime. Lakers trail by 12. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. The Lakers moving the ball around. Here's James. And he converts the lane. And that's now six points for LeBron. A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. Now, here's Lopez. Six points for him. Clock at four. To the inside. And to the combo. No good there. So the Lakers will take it the other way. And what do you think, GA, is the next step for this Lakers team? Coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. Middleton outside. Right side out of the Kumbo. Oh, good on that one. Davis with some nice D. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a 10-point game. You just got to love watching a big man hustle on the glass. This is what his team expects and needs from him. The kick out to Lopez. Pass to Connaughton. Onto Takumbo looking it over. Driving in. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite score because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. Back to LeBron. Pass to Davis. In the corner, Bamba with it. Trying to get open is Lopez. And again, no good by the Lakers. Giannis outside. Here's Connaughton. Launches it. And again, the Bucks miss. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's LeBron. The layup missed. Pass to Connaughton. 
three-pointer. Here's Lopez. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clapping down on LeBron James. And their game plan is working. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Connaughton with it. Hamba picks him up. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And the double up out of the Kumbo. To the middle. Here's Lopez. Count that one. Lopez has got the lead up to 14 now for the Bucks. And I love it when Lopez attacks inside. Even with contact, he can find a way to score. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Here's Giannis. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And the rejection by Giannis. And Lopez has it in the corner. Back to Anadokounmpo. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Lopez, no luck. Lakers trail by 12. Down low. Here's Davis. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy. And you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and try to manage the wear and tear. Pass to Portis. The kick out to Holiday. Back to Portis. The tray. And Davis pulls it down. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a fool. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy, but Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury, so you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. Holiday with it. Over in the corner, Portis. Just five on the clock. Here's Lopez. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. And the Bucks making a change here. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Lopez has got four points this quarter. Whatever drawbacks Lopez may have, scoring in the post isn't one of them. He is a nightmare for opposing defenses to deal with down low. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad. But that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Now, nobody spends more time in the paint than LeBron James. He knows he's going to get the contact, and he still goes in there. Hard to believe, Greg, last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. 
Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. Pass to Reeves. Davis. That one's not going to go. Good work defensively by Crowder. For Milwaukee, they have been good at the free throw line. This one, 7 of 8. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. 105 left in the third quarter of the game. Lopez outside. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Rebound, Milwaukee. Los Angeles. Led by as many as 14 points. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. At the line for the Bucks. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. Back to Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the chart. That one goes in. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Nineteen seconds left to play here in the third. Inside. Lopez. No luck. James in the post. Here's Davis with four seconds on the clock. And it's Davis with the jam. Does anybody else think it's just too easy for AD sometimes? Just an easy board. Timeout called the Bucks. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Out of bounds. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can give them a clean look at the basket. Three quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Bucks leading by nine. Middleton outside. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. That's his second. Hey Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league. And so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. Pass to Allen. Back to Anadokounmpo. The kick out to Holiday. Giannis with it. Lopez with the ball. Clock is at three. Back to Giannis. Stolen by Bamba. 
to the inside. Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. He can dominate, beat you up in so many ways, and Davis is giving that D. Oh, he, he's giving them problems tonight. To the paint. Here's Giannis. Great D that time from Davis. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by 10. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Milwaukee. All right, man. Here comes your Lakers And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alderton. Hey guys, well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout. His demeanor was not one of the coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. See if they were listening, guys. All right, David, thanks. Bucks leading by 10. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Lakers foul. Austin Reeves, his third personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Lopez. He takes it in. And he just takes pleasure in shutting his man down. I love seeing Bamba work this hard on that end of the floor. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. At the top of the key, Lopez. Five on the clock. Over LeBron. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot it. His length covers a ton of ground. And boy, is he fast. And James picks up the foul. That will be foul number five on him. Now, Adetokounmpo. Lopez up top. Shot clock at six. Goes up at the stripe. And he makes that one. And the Bucks leap by 14. And really an effective score from day one in the association. Lopez's ability to adapt has really kept him relevant. Giannis outside. 